Hi, this is Carrie with Carrie Concealed and the Active Self Protection Extra Channel. And I thought today that it would be fun to tell you five reasons that I love my H&K VP9 Hester Prin. You need a shot timer because that which gets measured gets worked on. The Range Tech Timer is the official timer of Active Self Protection because it is versatile, reliable, feature rich, and very economical. Check out all it can do at the link below. Welcome back. One of the reasons that I love my H&K VP9 Hester Prin is because I can remove the slide all by myself. And for me, that's a big deal. This is the first uh, and only nine millimeter autoloader pistol that I can remove the slide all by myself. Uh, why is it important to me to be able to do that? Well, for two primary reasons. The first reason is that I appreciate being able to field strip this so that I can clean it when I want to clean it. I'm not saying I clean it a lot, uh, but I want to be able to do it when I want to do it without having to wait for uh, somebody to be home to be able to help me. So I appreciate that ability. And then the other reason is because when I travel to teach, it's nice for me to be able to take less equipment with me. Um, so I don't have to take a blue gun or a cert pistol with me. And the reason is because since I can remove the slide by myself, and I'll show you that in just a minute, I have a ready-made GSO or gun-shaped object that I can use for demonstrations to show grip or how to do magazine changes or things like that. So what I enjoy about Hester, I'm gonna keep her pointed in a direction of least consequence, which is gonna be this way. And um, you can see the chamber's open, nothing, or the action is open, nothing in the chamber. And I can look and feel and look and feel. And then in order to take the slide off, the only thing I need to do is flip this lever down right there, and then I just simply take the slide off just like that, and then I put it back on virtually the same way. But this gives me an instant GSO or gun-shaped object, that uh, so it's no extra equipment to take with me. I take her with me anyway, and it's handy to have it with me. Um, so I appreciate that. That's one reason. A second reason is I adore the paddle style magazine release that Hester Prin has. Um, the reason I call her Hester Prin is because the gun that I had for about 10 or 11 years before I got Hester um, was a PPQ. And that also has a paddle style magazine release, which has worked very well for me. And I have over 100,000 rounds through that gun. And that's a lot of magazine changes. And so I have just learned I kind of just stumbled into that gun. I'm very thankful that it happened the way it did um, because it ended up working out really well for me. But I can't, after shooting that many rounds through a gun with a paddle style magazine release, let me show you what I mean by that. So a paddle style magazine release. So right here on the bottom of the trigger guard is the paddle and I can depress that way. I can depress with this hand or I usually do it with this and I'll turn it that way so you can see it. So there I'm depressing. So I hope that helps. I'm gonna turn it sideways and do it with this hand so you can hopefully see it coming down a little bit. But you see that coming down and that's what depress, you depress that to eject the magazine or release the magazine. So my, the gun that I was used to before I got Hester, uh, her name was Penelope Priscilla Quincy. Um, after so many rounds through her, I was very comfortable and very confident with that paddle style magazine release. And I'll tell you a little bit why, a little bit more why in just a minute. But I can't imagine after that many rounds through Penelope and, and liking that paddle style release, I can't imagine intentionally choosing a pistol that has a button style release. Um, the paddle style works best for me for a couple reasons. One of the reasons is because um, there's no inadvertent depressing of the magazine release. So the traditional style, this is a holstered gun here, the traditional style magazine release is right here, it's a push button. And so with this gun, holstered gun, I can depress that magazine release and the magazine falls free. So I have seen in classes um, that I've been teaching, in classes that I've attended as a student, where someone's grip inadvertently completely depresses or partially depresses that magazine release and uh, the button style and can cause them some problems. Um, Another reason that I like the paddle style is because while the gun is holstered, there's nothing that can depress it. So while I'm shooting, there's nothing that can depress that paddle style magazine release. And then also while the gun is holstered, there's nothing that can depress it. I've never had it happen and never seen it happen. Um, so I like that assurance. 
Some might say it's a takeaway or a, you know, a, a, a consequence um, that it's better to have a, a button style because they like being able to do administrative reloads while their gun's in the holster. And that would mean while their gun is holstered and on their body, they're able to press the button style magazine release because the holster allows them access to it. And then they can do a, a reload while the gun is holstered on their body. That's kind of handy for training and uh, that sort of thing. Um, for me personally, the um, one, the, the drawback of not being able to do administrative reloads, uh, it's far outweighed by the benefits for me personally. So uh, no inadvertent uh, button presses on accident uh, when I'm not expecting it. And then one of the other reasons I enjoy the paddle style magazine release is because it's just faster for me. I don't have to adjust my grip at all during reloads. I'm able to maintain my firm firing grip. I can eject and get my new magazine in and I'm back in the game again. Or with the paddle or with the button style, I typically have to um, either use this hand or I have to flip the gun just a little bit so that I can get in there and depress that button style. So the paddle style for me works out really, really well and I appreciate that. So that's two reasons. A third reason is, oh, I was gonna tell you why I named her Hester Print. Because I'd shot Penelope for so long and had so many um, rounds through her, I felt a little bit like I was committing adultery. So Hester Prynne is the main character, the protagonist in uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter that I read in high school. And um, I just felt bad that I was leaving Penelope at home all the time. But I so enjoyed uh, the HKVP9 and it was such an easy transition for me that um, it was easy to leave her at home, if that makes any sense. So. Another reason that I, so that's why, that's why my PPQ, um, or the, sorry, that's why Hester is named Hester Print. So anyway, um, and another day we'll talk about why I choose to name my guns. Um, so another reason that I like the Paddle Style Magazine release is because it's been extremely easy for me to find holsters that meet my criteria of a holster, and that criteria is hat. So back in the, I don't know, well, there's been a time in the world where you would never leave your home without a hat on. And I would never leave home without my gun cased or holstered. In order for my gun to be in a holster, uh, it needs to meet the hat criteria, H-A-T. So H, it has to hold the firearm securely no matter what orientation the holster is in or the person wearing the holster. And then A, it has to allow rapid, reliable access of that firearm. And then T, it has to completely encapsulate the trigger guard with a material that won't allow anything to depress the, get in there and depress the trigger. So with Penelope, it was initially not hard to find holsters for her, but as time has gone on, it's been very difficult to find holsters for her. Um, tough even now, actually, um, to find holsters for her. With Hester Prynne, the VP9, not at all hard to find holsters for her. Um, it seems like the all the quality holster manufacturers that meet the hat criteria holds the gun securely no matter what, what orientation the holster is in or the person wearing the holster, access, rapid, reliable access, and then completely encapsulating that trigger guard. It seems like all the quality holster manufacturers are all making holsters for the v VP9, which is pretty awesome. So there's so many options, which is giving me a new problem because I'm tempted to buy Hester new hats all the time, but I don't. So, um, those are three reasons. Fourth reason, or a reason, another reason that I enjoy um, Hester Print is because of the outstanding engineering and production quality that H and K has been known for uh, forever. Um, it gives me confidence in my purchase. Um, I've not at all experienced my VP9s to be ammo picky at all, even brand new out of the box, which is kind of rare. Uh, I love that they just go and go and go and go, and I don't have to, um, you know, work extra hard to keep them clean uh, or that sort of thing. Um, if I give them a little bit of lube, they're happy and they'll keep on running, which is really handy for me. And then another reason, uh, fifth reason that I like my VP9 is I appreciate the outstanding quality of the um, Heckler & Koch team. Um, from Mr. Bill and Miss Angela, to every single rep I've had the pleasure of meeting, they're just good people and easy to work with. And they care about the important things. They care about people. And um, it's just refreshing to work with them. Um, so I just appreciate H&K's commitment to uh, hiring quality people. So I'll give you a couple bonus reasons I like um, my Hester Prynne. Um, one of them is that I'm no longer the only one in my training class uh, when I go to gun school that has 
this gun. It used to be when I would, uh, you know, train exclusively with my other gun that I was always the only one there with that gun. And um, I don't care to draw attention to myself. And so somehow that always would. And so I love it when I go to a class and show up and there's always people that have VP9s. So that's pretty cool and refreshing. And then um, another bonus reason that I love my HK VP9 is because um, Mr. Bill, who is the um, director of marketing, he loves cheesecake, just like I do. And so what's not to love about that? And then uh, the last reason I can think of, this is a bonus reason that I love my VP9, is because when our team, when the ASP team trains together or teaches together, there's um, interchangeability with our magazines. So we all shoot either VP9s or P30s, and they take the same magazines. And so we're able to share magazines, which is really cool because it's easy just to hand a handful of magazines that are already full to someone. They can go shoot. The other person can fill their magazines and just keep those. We're not worrying about trading magazines back and forth. And then at the end of the training day, we can uh, square up at the end. So why does that matter? Well, because it gives us more time to shoot and it gives us more time to enjoy each other as a team. So I hope that's been fun for you. Uh, five reasons that I love my VP9 and a couple bonus reasons as well.